In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to make $100 a day selling on Amazon from literally anywhere in the world. And most importantly, how I was able to turn that into a multi seven figure business over the last six years now. So if those of you, if, if you are new to the channel, my name is Bashar Ketu and I'm a seven figure Amazon seller and coach as well. Um, in this channel, we talk about anything from Amazon FBA to uh, simply principles and values that you can implement in your life to simply be able to live a better and more freed life. So if this is your first time on the channel, consider subscribing. Also drop your comments in the section, in the comment section below. Let us know what other topics you'd like us to talk about in the future. So the very first thing that I want to talk about is the concept of selling online and how it all works. So there are many different ways and many different platforms and many different strategies that you can utilize. There is drop shipping, there is private labeling, there is, you know, uh, uh, arbitrage. There's all these different things that you can do online. One of the very first early on methods that I personally came about was a concept called retail arbitrage. Now what retail arbit what arbitrage is, the, the, the definition of arbitrage, it's simply, you know, uh, uh, being able to access something or purchase something in one market and then simply selling it in another market uh, for a profit, right? So uh, for instance, something like Forex is arbitrage because you are uh, you know, buying uh, uh, currencies in one market, selling it in another market for a profit. Uh, something like a stock could be uh, some you know, a way of arbitrage. For me, the way I was doing it is I was doing it with physical products and I would buy them from retail local stores and I would flip them on Amazon. That was how I came about online business. After my restaurant burned down in 2015, I simply started researching online and after a few months of researching and, and just simply you know, looking at every single thing that I found online, that seemed to be the, um, I guess the easiest to get into and also seemed to be uh, the one that just seemed interesting at the time. And I you know, it didn't need a whole lot of money because I didn't have a whole lot. I had lost half a million dollars and was $150,000 in debt. So the concept of arbitrage and the way I used to do it is that I would go to stores, retail stores, um, things like TJ Maxx, uh, places like Home Depot, places like uh, um, uh, Home Goods, uh, places like Walmart, Target, um, all these you know big retail, big box stores. And then what I would do and what I did is I downloaded the Seller Central app. So for those of you that are watching that want to do it, here are simple steps for you to do it. Number one would be, and I would probably write this down, um, download the Seller Central Amazon app. So that would be going to sellercentral.amazon.com and then simply signing up to become a seller and then you download the app onto your phone. Now at the top right corner, there's a little camera um, uh, like tag or a little camera uh, picture, right? If you click on that, it'll show a little barcode where you can actually scan stuff. So what I would do is I would go to these stores and then I would pick a product that I found either in a clearance section or I just kind of thought that it would probably be a good product. Usually things that are worried about this big, you know, it fits in a shoe box about a pound to three pounds. And you know that we're anywhere between 10 to $20, right? And I would take those and then I would scan the barcode on that. Now, if it shows up on Amazon, that means this product is selling on Amazon, right? If it doesn't, that means it doesn't sell on Amazon. So it's not good. So if the product did show up that it sells on Amazon, so after you scan the barcode, it'll show. And in some boxes, just to understand, and I'll probably note this down, some boxes actually have multiple uh, barcodes. So you want to make sure if one of them doesn't work, you scan the other. Some boxes even have up to three. Some is from the manufacturer, some is from the retail store. I don't know exactly why they have multiple, but you just want to make sure that you scan all of them. Um, so say the product shows up that it, it, it does sell on Amazon, then what you want to do is you want to go and look at some numbers. For me, my criteria, and I'd probably write this down, number one, it needs to have a BSR, best seller's rank, of 75,000 or less. So, you know, anywhere from one to 75,000. Number two, sellers or offers. How many sellers are selling that same product on that same listing cannot exceed 10 which means not more than 10 sellers are selling the same exact product on that same listing. Now that's number two. Number three, I need to have at least a $10 margin, meaning if I can find this product at the retail store for $15, right? It needs to be selling on Amazon for at least $20 because that's not all profit, but there's Amazon fees, there is shipping because I have to ship it either to the customer directly or ship it to FBA so they can fulfill the order for me, right? And I would probably be left with about three to $6 in that profit. 
So that's why I had to have at least a $10 margin. That's number three. Those were really my top criteria. And then from there, it's the, you know, comes the selling price. Um, you know, can you afford it? Like, you know, if the product is $50 and even if the $10 is there, well, can you buy, say, 10 units of the $40, $40 product? So say you found a $40 product that sells on Amazon for 50, there's that $10 margin, but then the product you need to buy it for 40. And say you need to buy, you're gonna buy 10 of them, that's $400. I know for me, I didn't have that kind of money. So I was looking for products that weren't, that I could buy them for less than 20 bucks. So that way if I bought two, three, five, ten, 10, I could buy a variety of products and then ship them all. And then from there, once you have done that, then what you wanna do is, you simply wanna go up to the cashier and say, hey, how many of this do you have? right? Say they have 10. Okay, well, can you check in other stores? Do you guys have more in other stores? Okay, so you grab all that and then maybe either have them shipped to your house or have them shipped directly to Amazon or you go and pick them up, right? And then after that, you've got two things that you can do. Number one, you could either ship them directly to Amazon's FBA so they can fulfill the orders for you. They take more of a a cut, but they take care of everything. They take care of the storing, they take care of the shipping, they take care of everything, this is what I did. Or you can do FBM, which I have another video that explains the difference between FBA and FBM. But FBM is where every time you get an order, you ship directly to the customer, right? So that, those, were, those are gonna be your two other options, right? Now, if you are, say, not in the US and want to sell in the US market, so this is good for the US market, but if you are not in the US and want to sell in the US market, you could do exactly the same thing but online. So this is when I, this is kind of the next, my next step, my next step progression. I went from retail arbitrage because I'm like, all right, well, I don't want to keep driving around the city all day. What I want to do is I want to be able to, from the comfort of my home, this is why I'm doing online business. From the comfort of my home, I want to be able to do all that, right? So say you live in Sweden, you live in India, you live in whatever, you know, in Asia, and you want to do this and sell on Amazon USA, then what you could do is you could do the same thing, but online. I used to use a, a tool called Tactical Arbitrage. That's Tactical Arbitrage, right? And I used to use that tool to do simply the same thing. So instead of you going to the stores, you go to the Tactical Arbitrage, and then you select the stores. So you select Walmart, Target, Home Goods, you know, Toys R Us, whatever, and then you set your criteria, and then it goes out there and it starts researching and it brings back and says, okay, I found these products that fit your criteria, and then you simply use the same exact criteria to see if they actually show up on Amazon or if they don't. Now, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. There's one more thing that I wanna share with you, but before I do that, if this is your first time to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, if you've enjoyed the video so far, smash the thumbs up button because it helps us rank in the algorithm. And if you stay until the end, I've got a quick, uh, a pretty cool announcement for you. So one last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that being able to go from retail arbitrage to online arbitrage was for me a very um, eye-opening experience and very eye-opening kind of progression. Simply because now, instead of going to stores, I saw that I can do it online. Now, one thing you have to be careful about is that when you are doing online arbitrage, you need to make sure because what you're doing is you're almost, well, there are two ways of doing online arbitrage. You could either First, first, you could either do it where it's like drop shipping, where you found a product, you list it on Amazon, and then when you get a purchase, then you go to the store, you buy it, and then you ship it directly to the customer. Or you could buy all of their inventory, ship it directly to Amazon, and then have Amazon fulfill. Here are the pros and cons about the two. The first one, which if you actually say you you found a product with tactical arbitrage, you listed it on Amazon, and then you, you only fulfilled orders, so you only bought the orders as they came in, you want to make sure that, that the store where you found them at has at least 10 units, because it could be at least a week or 10 days before you're able to, uh, um, you know, before you're able to get a sale. And oftentimes what used to happen to me is if I went back, say I found a product today, it looks good, I listed it on Amazon, right? A week later, I got an order. I go back to the store to order and ship it to the customer. They ran out because they only had three, right? So to prevent that, what you could do is obviously make sure that they have at least 10 or 20 in stock. 
or you could just simply buy their entire stock, ship it to Amazon. For me, that wasn't scalable, again, because I didn't have a whole lot of money and I just wanted to stack as many products as possible. And so I, what I did is I started kind of like drop shipping almost, but also the con about that is that sometimes, say if you're drop shipping from Walmart or Target or whatever, the box of the product has a price tag on it. So the customer is gonna get a box that it's gonna be in an, uh, 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 um, you know, in a, in a, they bought it for $29.99 on Amazon, but then they're gonna get the box, it's a Walmart box, and then there's a tag that says $19.99, they're gonna feel scammed, right? So you just have to really be careful about those things. Those are kind of the nuances about this concept on how to sell. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video so far because this is exactly how I started, how I was able to scale from zero to $100 a day in sales and really a couple hundred dollars a day in sales. But then I had a brick wall because this concept is not very scalable, just simply because you're always looking for brand new products. You always, you need to have a stack of products. I mean, you need to have five, 10, 20, 30 products in order for you to scale. So if you wanna make $100 a day, that is great for you. And that's an awesome place for you to start. If you don't have, if you only got so much money and you wanna only make $100 a day, you're like, I'm happy there for now. But then if you are already there and you want to scale further, or if you're like Bashar, I don't think $100 a day is gonna, you know, wake me out of bed excited to actually go to work then you should look into a concept called Amazon FBA private label. And that is, what I, that is the concept that I did after you know, uh, uh, retail and online arbitrage and scaled to multi seven figures per year, and that's private label. Now, if you want to learn about private label, below this video, there's a link that'll take you to a short presentation where we'll break down to you exactly how private label works and how you can scale to multiple seven figures with time. It took me six years to get here. It'll take you time, but if you've got the time, if you've got some finances, about $10,000, and you've got the commitment to scale, then we'll show you how that's done. Outside of that, thank you all for being here. I appreciate your time. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care.